Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. Bus. So, uh, in the previous video, I think uh, we have uh, everything set up for uh, our third weapon. So, those things are done and uh, now we will see how to integrate the radial menu which we have, uh, which we have created. So, if you have completed the radial menu series, so your uh, menu should look something like this. So th these are all dummy entries in this project. Uh, just because I wanted to show how to create on a blank project. Now we will integrate this menu on our uh, template. So if you have created directly on the template, then it's well and good. Or else uh, if you have created on a blank project, uh, do uh, migrate, uh, migrate the project, I mean migrate the files related to this menu to your project I'll just quickly copy these things okay I just need only this okay my weapon menu is here so let's update the code uh, so that we can use it uh, on our uh, template Okay, open your player character and the player controller. We'll start from there. So first we'll see what comes up when we press the Q button. Okay, so we are getting the old menu. We'll, we have to replace that with the uh, new one. Okay, let this be here for time being. We will remove this at the end. Promote this to a variable. And we have uh, we just have the player controller riff on the uh, uh, weapon menu. So we actually need the player ref. Player ref and type select the player character. Okay. Now on the player controller we will set this variable. Okay, this part is fine. Now we have to change our uh, uh, menu that is displaying here. So here, instead of open menu, add reference. Move this. Use the href which we have created now. Okay, put this in viewport. Pause and add to viewport. Okay, we have already created the appear animation. Connect to here. So 
So remove the scan fair now. Remove this here. Of this and now we have our player state so depending on the player state we will uh, set the can fire Okay, now let's see how this looks. Okay, there are some errors. Okay, here uh, connect the HUD references target. Okay, now we are uh, getting the menu. So, these images we will remove and uh, these images we will populate based on the weapons we equip. this entire code we are going to remove I'll remove this we don't need that here and on the brush I have an empty brush Okay, this is fine. Now let's start adding the functionality. On the player character, open the weapon shift graph. So here uh, we have already created uh, uh, the required macros. So we just need a uh, uh, To call them here so we need this we actually we don't need this entire code so I'll just just copy the event and go to your Weapon shift graph, paste it, weapon menu response, add a branch, and if it is not equal to player's current state. Changing weapon to true. Then call the weapon sheath and connect the current state here. 
and then call the weapon equip weapon equip run the player new state connect this and then set changing weapon to false okay so this is done and uh, we, we have to start adding the uh, functionality on uh, the weapon menu code so that that we will see it in the next video uh, thanks for watching bye